the efficiency of continuing the studying after the break will significantly improve instead of stretching on studying for continuously 4 to 5 hours. Therefore, it would be advisable to take breaks and it's completely fine and justifiable to do so. Hello friends, my name is Pranyan Pishetti. I have enrolled in Aka Shudpi branch for NEET UG preparation for two years. My father and mother both are government teachers. When I was in 10th grade, I had an uncle who had passed due to cancer. Therefore, I wanted to contribute to finding a cure for cancer. My parents also had the dream that I could become the first member in the family who became a doctor. I also had a very good interest in 10th grade towards biology and chemistry. My aim is to pursue MBBS in Ames Delhi. He told me that in Akash, the teachers were always responsive to the students as well as were always ready to clear the doubts. And also when I looked into Akash, it had a very good track record of producing the best NEET RYUJI results. That is why I decided to choose Akash. My preparation strategy for NEET consisted of studying the NCRT thoroughly for the three subjects that is Biology, Chemistry and Physics. Akash tests as well as the problems posed in the study material also helped me to gain a significant understanding in the matter. Tests such as AITS, FTs and CTs help point out my weak areas as well as strengths which I should focus on and which I should correct in the near future. That's why I have performed exceedingly well in the NEET 2024 examination. At the end of the day, both NEET as well as the boards consist of the same syllabus. Both require a thorough understanding of the NCRT. Therefore, the NEET objective preparation as well as the board subjective preparation should not be a big problem. If there is a time management problem, creating timetables, making monthly planners, daily planners could help in properly managing time as well as making sure one's efforts would be very useful in preparing for NEET. Uh, the pre-boards conducted by my school were also very significant in understanding how I would perform in the boards. This was very important because consistency is what, what matters in the end. Soon after the admission into the Akash Institute, we were subjected to tests such as FTs and CTs and AITs. FTs and CTs and AITs aim to provide us part syllabus tests which were aimed at strengthening our concepts in those topics as we were initially unfamiliar to them. Later on as we progressed we became more and more skilled at this and these tests were indeed more difficult than NEET level because that is the practice that one requires while preparing for such a competitive examination as NEET UG. In the last 45 days just before the NEET, Akash has started another series called the Final Test Series which consisted of both open mock tests as well as home assignments. These tests cumulatively provide an analysis as to where I stand and what performance I am currently providing and what strengths and weaknesses I have in each subject, be it physics, chemistry or biology. So these FTS helps us to make an error log of these FTS especially helps us to understand what should I focus and what possible mistakes I might make in NEET and thus it helps us avoid those mistakes. Therefore, Akash truly has a good, great hand in our performance by its tests that it subjects us to. Every person has their limit as to when it comes to studying. A person cannot continuously keep on studying for 4 to 5 hours straight. As such, time intervals will require breaks and as such, when my mind feels exhausted and when my mental capacity has reached its saturation point, I just drop the book, calm down and just take a deep breath, maybe just go out, talk to friends, eat some snacks. These all acts help to reduce the pent up stress and frustration within the brain. As a result, the efficiency of continuing the studying after the break will significantly improve instead of stretching on studying for continuously 4 to 5 hours. Therefore, it would be advisable to take breaks and it's completely fine and justifiable to do so. Personally speaking, breaks have helped me a lot and without breaks, it is very, very difficult for me to study. Akash has been all in all a wonderful experience. The Akash faculty were very helpful and supportive. They helped solve my doubts which were academic as well as clear my mental grievances which may have been non-academic also. Thus, I had formed a very deep and cordial bond with my teachers. This helped me in my NEET UG preparation a lot. Recently, my branch had arranged a picnic to Wanderla. This had been a very wonderful experience as well as I got to make a lot of friends there. These friends would support me in my academic as well as would be good friends who would forming a good friendly bond with me. So this had been all in all a memorable experience in Akash. Like I said, in the end, all that matters is consistency. Be true to yourself, stay focused and work hard. But also make sure to keep time for yourself for other activities to indulge in because balance is important. Make sure to thoroughly go through the NCRT at least four to five times and solve 
as many problems as possible from the mock tests provided by Akash. These tips will help you refine your NEET UG preparations as well as help you attain better results. All the best. Thank you.